So YouTube and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today what we're going to be doing is I am going to be doing the gamer tag. But I thought this would be a cool tag to do because obviously I've been talking about more gaming topics and I do like doing a kind of chill question and answer video every now and again. Just because I think it's nice um, for you guys to kind of hear answers to my questions. So the first question on this tag is what is your all time favourite video game? Who my all time favourite video game. <sighs> It, I always have a favourite video game pair system. It's like when someone asks me what my favourite album is, I usually have a favourite album pair artist. But if I had to choose what my favourite game of all time was, the, fir the first one that comes to mind has to be the original Rayman. It was the first game that I genuinely, genuinely fell in love with and yeah, there's been new favourites that's come and gone, but I think if someone like made me choose what my favourite video game was. I think it is the original Rayman. I always come back to it and I always have a blast playing it, even though I suck at it. I know I will never ever complete it, but it's just a game that gives me so much joy and nostalgia that I have to say that that is my all time favourite video game. I love the original Rayman. Question number two is, what is your current favourite video game? My current favourite video game, uh, one that I played recently and I actually platinumed on my PlayStation 5, uh, that is Ghost of Tsushima. I did not realise that I would fall in love with that game as much as I have. I put about 60 hours into it and it just felt like such an achievement to complete a game that I loved so much. Someone asked me what my favourite game on PlayStation 4 is, Ghost Tsushima, and it is my current favourite because nothing I've played recently has topped it yet. And the next question is, what is your favourite video game genre? That's a tough one. I, I, I've said this before on the channel, but I will play almost anything. I will give almost any game a, a fair go and a fair chance. You know, there's so many genres that I love, but I think my favorite is like the hybrid genres. Like, you know, like Ratchet and Clank is kind of like an action platformer. You know, like there's a reason why you're platforming. I think I like that and kind of like, I think that's why I like Super Mario Odyssey so much as well. Cause it was a 3D Mario, you had, you had that kind of open world aspect, but you also had the platforming at the heart of it. I would say maybe action or um action, platformers like Ratchet and Clank and th the Hootie Marios and that sort of a thing. Go oh Jack and Daxter's one that I can think on that I played recently. Jack and Daxter is definitely one. I love that kind of style of game. That style of game was very very popular in the PlayStation 2 era but we don't see this much now um, which sucks but it's definitely something I think should make a return and sadly Balan Wonderworld was not it. <laughs> Question number four is, how long have you been playing video games? God, how long have I been playing video games? I don't actually know, but I I, it's, I know that I've been around gaming for so long at this point that I don't know if I can live without it. <laughs> so it's been a very long time. So I've probably been playing video games since I was about five or six. I'd say maybe about five or six, because then my dad got us a DS at minus seven and so on. Question number five is what was the first video game that you played? The first game, video game that I played um, was definitely something on the PlayStation. I can't pinpoint exactly what it was. <laughs> it would have, it could have been Rayman, it could have been Tekken, it could have been that weird consider gear that me and my brother always played. I don't know what the first game I ever played was, but I definitely know that it was a PlayStation 1 game. Question number six is what game have you clocked the most hours into? I mean, there's been games that I've clocked hours into. I believe I put like over 200 hours into Animal Crossing. Um, New Leaf, I put over 100 in New Horizons. Fire Emblems, I've put almost 200 into Fire Emblem Three Houses and then I've also put in quite a bit um, in another Fire Emblem game that I had in 3DS which was my very first Fire Emblem called Fire Emblem on the Sacred Stones. It was a Game Boy Advance game. But then there are some open world games like Grand Theft Auto 5 that I've put hours into as well. There's definitely 
from all the times I've played uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, I've completed it three times. It could be Grand Theft Auto 5. I've put a lot of hours into that game. Those games, yeah, I've, I've put a lot into. I, I can't pinpoint what one was the most. But let's just say I've played a lot of games for a long time. Question number seven is what was your longest gaming session? And I actually think I, I definitively know the answer to this one. Um, and I actually think that it is when I, the day I first got my PlayStation 5, you guys seen that video, I unboxed it. I unboxed the system, finished recording the video, cleared up everything and then turned it on, plugged it in and started setting it up. And it was amazing. Basically my mom brought my lunch up here. Usually I would have the lunch, like we'd sit and have lunch together, but she knew that I just got this new system and I was so excited. So she brought my lunch up to this room. I had my lunch here and I just sat and completed Astro's Playroom. And I just sat for like six, I think it was six, seven hours. So I just sat and I played Astro's Playroom. So I think that was my longest gaming session that I can remember. Question number eight is who is your favorite game developer? This one's hard, but it's also easy because there, I have two. My first one that comes to mind is Naughty Dog. Um, I am a massive fan of the Uncharted series. I'm hoping we get a new Uncharted 3, but I think I might be a little bit too ambitious. I also love The Last of Us. I've made no secret about that. I, I, I really enjoyed the first one and I loved the second one. I thought the second one was better than the first. I know a lot of people don't like the second one for all kinds of reasons, but I really, really liked it. And my second that's kind of tied with Naughty Dog is Rockstar. I just love the Grand Theft Auto series and I also loved Bully. Um, Red Dead um, is something I can't wait to get into. I do have it. Definitely, definitely 100% either Rockstar or Naughty Dog. Question number nine is who is your favorite hero character from a video game? I'm gonna have to say Nathan Drake on this one, aren't I? Question number 10 is who is your favorite villain? Ooh, favorite villain. I don't really have a, I don't really have a favorite villain. Or you know what? I could go for my favorite character from Sonic the Hedgehog, who technically is a villain the first time he appears. And that's Silver, Silver the Hedgehog. I just love the design of Silver the Hedgehog. If I'm being honest. Question number 11 is who is your most hated character from a video game? I want to get into this one. I played Resident Evil 4 for the first time a couple, I think it was sometime last year. Ashley, need I say any more? People say Tails is the most annoying video game character, but the if you play Resident Evil 4, and you say that you liked Ashley, there's something wrong with you. She is so annoying. It's a reason I will never play Resident Evil 4 again. Question number 14 is, what is your favorite gaming system and why? People know this already, but it's a PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 2 is my favorite console of all time. It was the first video game system that I really, really did fall in love with. And I had so many experiences with that system and it's just a complete nostalgia boost. Every time I play it, I love the games from that generation. I love the humor from that generation. And it's the era that I grew up in. People have asked me before, like, what is my biggest game collection? You know, out of all the systems I collect for, what's my biggest? And the PlayStation 2 is my biggest because the games for the system are cheap. They're easy to find because the system sold so well. And you've just got all these great reasons to collect for PlayStation 2 as well. There's so many unique games. There's so many games for it. It's just a library that you're always gonna have and find new experiences with. Question number 15 is, do you prefer to play as boy characters or girl characters? I don't really care. Say I have like a game like the Uncharted series or something where you play as the protagonist. Doesn't really bother me whether they're male or female. So long as the story is good, I don't really mind. But if I'm picking a character myself, always female. Question number 16 is, do you follow walkthroughs or do you play through on your own? For me, I use a walkthrough as a crutch, right? Because I have such a big backlog, I don't have time to get stuck on puzzles. Like I was playing Horizon the other night and there was this puzzle I had to do to open a door. There was like a set upstairs and you could clearly see where you had to turn the little nodules. And I was like, right, okay, I can do that. Went downstairs and there was two. Went over there. Again, it was indicated where I had to turn the little nodules. I'm like, right, this is easy, this is fine. Got to a third one. 
and the thing that indicated where I had to turn the little things was broken. So you had to kind of figure it out yourself. I do not have time to figure it out myself. So I just pull up my phone, put in the lock through, get what the things are and then continue on with the game. I only tend to use a walkthrough when I'm stuck on things like that that I cannot figure out myself or I think that's going to take me too long to figure out. For me, I just, I don't have enough time. <laughs> I have so many games that I want to get through that I, I don't want to sit and do something that's not necessary when I can just Google it. Question number 17 is, have you ever been to a gaming convention? No, I haven't, but I would love to go to like E3 or Gamescom or something like that. I just think it would be such a hype. Uh, I would love to go to one of those. And I would also really, really love to go to a retro game convention or a retro game market because I think that that would be a really, really, really cool experience um, to do. Question number 18 is, what games are you most excited for to come out in the future? Well, E3 is coming up. <laughs> uh, everybody's uploading their prediction videos now. I, I would like to see a new Uncharted. Um, apparently there is a new Uncharted in the making and I would love like, a, like a, an Uncharted on the PlayStation 5. I just think what they can do with that software would look incredible. Another game I'm really looking forward to that is confirmed is the new Ratchet and Clank game. I'm currently in the process of collecting all of the Ratchet and Clanks so um, it'll be awesome to see Rift Apart when it comes out. Question number 19 is, what is your favourite memory of a video game? My favourite memory of a video game is the first time I completed Life is Strange. I was just kind of getting back into gaming after having a, like a kind of break from it because I kind of felt that the gaming space wasn't inclusive um, to me and I kind of felt put out with gaming. Um, Life is Strange is one of the first games that I played when I got my PlayStation 4. It was Until Dawn and uh, Life is Strange um, and The Last of Us Remastered was like the first three games I played on my PlayStation 4. And the first time I completed Life is Strange, I just got the satisfaction that I hadn't got for years of finally completing a game. And I missed that. Completing Life is Strange has to be one of my favorite gaming moments because it was the moment that got me back into video games. And it was just that satisfaction that I needed. Question number 20 is what is your worst? video game memory. Oh, I, I don't know if it was losing my brother's DS game and never finding it again. Oh, the time that my brother decided to delete my Minecraft save that I had worked on so hard just because there wasn't enough space on my computer to make another world. He just deleted one that was called New World because he thought that it was one that I didn't use when it turns out that it was the first one that I created. Or if it was the time when I was playing Resident Evil and I cried. One recent one was when I was playing um, Spider-Man Ultimate Edition. And this is when the PlayStation 5 just came out. I was just at the end of playing the original Spider-Man and I was in the last boss fight. And I just, just as I killed the final boss, which was um, Dr. Octopus, just as I killed him, PlayStation Crisis, it didn't corrupt the file, thankfully, but I had to like go back to the very start. That was pretty bad. But that's all the worst ones, I think. I can't pick out one specifically, but there's been some pretty bad ones. What video game character do you see yourself as? Or if you had to be represented by a video game character, who would it be? The one character that I always align myself with is Chloe Price from Life is Strange. I, we just have so much in common. <laughs> Apart from the fact that she like dropped out of school and stuff and the rebellious thing, I'm. I would like to be like that, but I'm not like that. But there's still a lot of similarities between me and her. I, I really realized it during Before the Storm. Um, when I played that game, I was like, God, I would do that too. <laughs> but that is all the questions on this video game tag. I hope that you guys liked uh, learning a little bit more about me and about my experiences with gaming. I will have the questions linked in the description below. Where I, I tag all of you to do it if you want to. That's my tag. So if you want to answer some of the questions in the comments below, or if you want to like make your own video, or if you want to just make a Twitter post, whatever you want to do, I would love to hear your guys' answers. But that is everything that I have for you guys today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give a big thumbs up. And also, Subscribe with love and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.